Welcome to Callaway Talks. I'm your host, Dave Neville, a.k.a. Yo Dinevs, a.k.a. Specs. I've got a few other nicknames. Joined today by maybe the, the only guy who has more nicknames <laughs> than me, Dot R. Dot, RFC, the legend, the OG of wedges, Roger Cleveland. Roger, thanks for joining me. Uh, it's great to be with you again. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> how many How many years... Have you? When was what was the first year that that you you did your first wedge? Let's just take us back in time for a second here. It had to be like eighty two. I was going to say, did it have an eight in front of the? Yes, it did. <laughs> eighty two. Wow, and I've been yeah. doing wedges since then. And for Callaway, well, I, actually, I I did when I was in college, which goes back a little further than that. <laughs> yes, uh, I found a wedge that I uh, played with uh, at, at in college and. The grind on that, you ought to see the grind on that. It was pretty good. I was messing around. I was missing so many greens. I had to do something. So you got to bring that one in. That's I, I got It's gonna be in the Hall of Fame. It, it uh, it's a good one. And you've been doing wedges for Callaway. I think is it twenty four years that we just ninety six. Ninety six. Twenty four yeah. years. Yeah. Wow, that is incredible. And of course, working with all the the best the tour players from uh, around the world, and we've yep. had so much success uh, working with all of them, uh, including including Phil, obviously. But when we look at tour style wedge, tour player type of, of wedges. Uh, they're great for tour pros, but talk about some of the challenges that you see. You do so many of these clinics, educations around the country. You see players struggling with uh, with their wedges. Well, yeah, they they don't understand the technique very well, so they need some help. And we actually, in the MD5 series, put in a a wedge that's kind of a mini sure out. It's a W, and it has a 12 on it, uh, indicating the not necessarily well it's actually the the true bounce on that one <laughs> but it's really wide not as wide as a sure out type but it but uh it really performs well and and i know where we're going in a minute and and that's really kind of uh moved us in that direction which is a terrific direction for most folks that don't have the time to to spend on their short game it doesn't take uh strength it takes technique and and some time to practice and and uh, some lessons and but if you if you don't have that you need some uh, you need some assistance and and that's what we're going to give you. So we we see so many players they're using the Maverick irons or they're using maybe Apex Standard or, right. or even the the Rogue and these are cavity back irons they're deep cavity back irons they're using them all the way up through the pitching wedge and the A wedge. And then they're going to a tour style wedge, and then we see them struggling a lot of times, particularly in the the, the longer wedges, uh, also, right? Yeah. Well, the head head is, gets a little smaller, uh, which transitions into a a typically more of a blade and a better player's uh, club size, and uh, that's what we've addressed as well. So we've made uh, we've made something a little bit bigger and and. Uh, easier to look at and, and more forgiving should we let the people see it or i'd or, like to see it or, or, or what? let's bring it out here let's the new mac daddy cb wedges yeah and we're saying plays easy bites hard i think that's a that's a great line because it is yeah. a super easy to hit uh, wedge but still has a lot of a lot of spin on it um as well First thing I'm noticing when I look at this, Roger, is just a deep cavity back. And I'm, this could be like the first time in a Callaway wedge, right? It is. It is the first time. And that's, that's moving, moving material, moving mass away and making it more forgiving, ma- making it uh, uh, have a little bit more power in off-center hits and because you have more mass there. So it, it's, uh, it works for you. And the size of the head is a little bit bigger, so it transitions into the sets that you mentioned. And uh, so you don't get a little bit of a, a sticker shock with a smaller size. What I found is, is interesting when we look at this and compare it to a Jaws wedge, um, you set it down and you think, well, it's probably you know, maybe 10% larger or something like that. But I think actually it's only about 4% l- uh, larger. But when you, you set it down, you know, you, you know you've, you've got some size, you've got some, some face to, some to work girth. with. Some girth to, to, well, uh, to work with there. Well, especially the, the higher lofts, we, we did something else which you're going to show us. And, and uh, that uh, makes the wedge look bigger and more confident when you, uh, when you get in a bunker and or around the greens to, to hit certain shots that are, you know, 
the smaller shots. So let's dig into the the tech on these um, a little bit here. So we we talked about the deep cavity back, but also yep. a little bit of a thicker top line. You've got some pretty good offset um, on there um, as well. And then we're saying player friendly sole grind. So let's talk about that because we have. Um, you know, in the Jaws line, there's a bunch of different uh, grinds. Here we have two specific grinds. Let's start, start with the the lower loss. This this modified full full sole. I think you've yeah. you've got, we got one there. We got a couple. We got a 46 here. It goes all the way down to 46 and and as high as uh, is 60. Um, but it is it is a kind of a, a mini W. I mean, it's the same type of a a sole but it's just not as wide so you can get under the ball with this with this uh, loft very easily it has camber from uh, heel to toe so uh, I mean from front to back so it's very easy to uh, to catch the ball and and you can hit behind the ball it still slides and that's that's the beauty and design of this sole is is you're not perfect we want to give you confidence and and what people most fear about this shot is that you have to hit it perfectly, and you really, you really don't. If you if you have proper technique, you're actually sliding be, uh, the sole on the ground before the ball and letting it slide and let the loft do what it does through the ball, and uh, and don't slow down. And a lot of people get nervous; they have to be perfect. So this this sole really helps them. Yeah, so what I think is interesting there is the work that your team, and, and shout out to Patrick Dawson and, yep. and what he did working with Scott Manwaring and the Irons team of of getting a a kind of a really smooth transition from these, these irons into the wedges. So we're actually expecting that there will be players who will pull out their A wedge or their gap wedge from maybe the Apex or the Maverick line and, and put in a, a Mac Daddy CB, where in the Jaws, 40 six and 48 are pretty tough to hit in the jaws lineup unless you know you got a torque card or you're a pretty low no, handicapper you got some speed when you yeah. when the speed goes down and your and your ability to practice and some of your surrounds get get tough you uh, you need to have confidence and the soul gives you a lot of confidence and so then in the upper lofts in the 54 and up we have this modified uh w soul which is going to be super easy to use out of the bunker what do you have the 48 well, there this 50, is a 58 58 yeah um we have it from 54 on up mm -hmm. to 60 um it's wider okay the same same type of a nice nice radius on uh front to back and uh i mean you can hit before the ball and it it's it wants to slide it's mm -hmm. really really good and then flip that thing over because we got another Ooh, little thing there. What do we have here? Uh, grooves across the face, which of course we had with the PM grind. That That's was the right. first wedge that we did. And really amazing feedback from all types of players. The PM grind obviously played on tour, played yep. by Phil, played by a lot of other tour players. But also mid to high handicappers love the PM grind for having the grooves across the face. So just talk a little bit about the advantages of, of having that. Well, it, first of all, it makes it look gigantous <laughs> and that's what you want you want to go in a, into a bunker into a little shot with a shovel and that's what this looks like and so it gives you a lot of confidence it also gives you the ability when you hit it further out on the toe which you do sometimes to have spin and this is the groove our 37 degree draft angle groove which is creates a edge radius as tight as can be to the rules of golf and and that's spin and that's control and that's what you need and so uh, like we did with the pm phil opened up his wedge a lot you don't necessarily need to do that with this because the sole so big you have the loft you just have to keep on keeping momentum through the ball and this sole will do the work but the grooves will spin the ball It'll, it's really fun and that's what i like i like about this wedge because we know there's a lot of players that don't really like to open up the face or they're a little bit afraid to open up the face yeah, so yeah. now you can combine that sole with having the grooves all the way across the face you don't really have to open it way up it's nope. still going to work perfectly well out of the bunker look at this uh, well, 60 degrees is a lot of loft yeah and, absolutely and, and uh and that's all you need to do is just keep up the speed and the, the groove will do the work. So Phil, when he opened it up, he would hit it toward the toe more, okay, and up high, and uh, that's why he wanted the groove. So he's, he's very in, uh, forward in this thinking for sure and did pretty well today, as a matter of fact.
What I like is we've we've brought so many different things from the from the Jaws lineup. So we have yep. the Jaws groove, obviously. From the PM, we have the grooves um, uh, across the face, the Sure Out, incorporating some of the things from the Soul, and then sure. even from Apex and Maverick with the deep cavity back. It's almost like bringing them all together into this Mac Daddy uh, CB. It's a nice package. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited. So let's. I, I want to say one go thing. Ahead. Mm-hmm. Add a dress. The the high lofts, the fifty eight or you know, fifty eight on up are the most beautiful silhouette that I think I've ever done. I look at it and I said, I wanna take this and, and move this forward in other lines. It's that it's that good looking. There it is. You know, there's the the offset there, the grooves across the face, beautiful um a s- silhouette as well. You know, there's players who will think that, well, you know, maybe should I not should I play this, should I not play this? Talk about who, like, what kind of handicap range are we are we talking about for the uh, this type well, of? If, if it can be, a, it, you know, most any handicap range. If you have some issues, if you're a lower handicap and have some issues, you want to look at this wedge for sure. <laughs> yeah, um, but most people, you know, that have a mid handicap from twelve on up, let's say, and you don't have a chance to get out much. I mean, this is going to be your friend, mm-hmm. and uh, it'll work for you. Well, let's take a look if we can at the uh, the offering, the the spec sh- uh, chart. So we we have a it's a pretty wide offering in terms of going from forty six all the way up to sixty. We kept it to the one finish, so we're keeping it two tight. De- two degree increments. Yeah, two degree increments. We have the two different uh, soles. So we have the full sole and we have the modified W. Yep. Um, we also have left handed uh, across the board, which yep. is which is great. The, the so. lefties always chime in, you know. So we got lefties no, across no, no, the we board. We love the lefties. And then. Um, uh, a women's configuration, which I'm excited about, an inch under there, um, all of the same. Con- special shaft. Yeah, special shaft. And and yeah. let's dig into that, too, because yeah. I'm really proud of the premium components we have here. We have the KBS high rev in the steel uh, in a slightly lighter weight, the 105G, uh, which I think is great because so many of these players, they're using either graphite in their irons or maybe they're using lightweight steel in their irons. And we have this this graphite offering at no upcharge, by the way, um, 80 gram high rev G, probably some of the, the best shafts uh, for wedges out there on the market coming from KBS and then a women's offering with the 60 gram. And then we get into the grip, which we worked with the golf pride, which I think is really cool. This SG1 or short game one, it's an inch longer, Raj. So there's a lot of players who like but, to choke up on their grip for without, distance control. Without the taper. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it tapers less. It, it's not a, you know, full, you know, parallel all the way down. It tapers and then it then it uh, uh, stops tapering and goes go straight. But it's a little, when you when you get closer to the green, sometimes you want to get down closer to the shaft and, and this really helps. Yeah, you see a lot of players kind of playing, um, they'll play that type of choke down type of shot yep. or... Even the sort of putting technique you see for chipping around the greens, the SG1 is going to be uh, great for that. So yep. I really think it's it's a, a comprehensive type of type of package. We always encourage people to go out and get fit, correct? Absolutely. But the feel on these wedges, uh, you know, you think a cavity back is not going to feel great, but this is uh, amazing feel and, and uh, uh it exudes confidence when you get over the ball, and we've been working on it for a long time. I mean, this is two years plus well, in in the in the making of really wanting to to get it right. I remember looking at all the different uh, cavity prototypes that we're looking at, and, and before it's, it's clean, it's beautiful, and, and uh, very premium. Very premium, um, very clean shape. The medallion looks great. The Mac Daddy CB. People will know what this wedge uh, it, it is all about. Uh, you've done it again. There's a dot or dot on the on the hosel. Absolutely. Little, little little Easter egg from you sure, um, sure. on there uh, as well. So yeah. let's take a look at the availability. You know, if you're if you're watching this Callaway talks, we've already done the consumer intro. But in terms of our pre-sale date, September 18th, that's when you can go and get fit. You can pre-order these, and then in stores on September 24th. We've talked about it also with the Big Bertha line in the past, Roger. But I think this is the perfect wedge for the perfect time. There's so many people getting into the game right yeah. now coming back into the game and they probably haven't practiced their short game uh that much this is going to be a good option for them it's a great option and a great looking option great feeling option and and uh i'll just don't stop at the ball let it let it go through and it could be i mean it's going to slide through that ball don't 
Just don't stop. So we got a Beautiful. lot more information out there on CallawayGolf.com. If you want to see the product video, you want to get all the details, the the specs. We have a wedge selector tool out there. We have wedge education uh, yep. with, with Roger and Wesley, Wesley. Bryan. Yep. Yeah, we have a, a ton of information that's going to be out there. We're going to be doing some new instructional tips with the with the CB. You didn't even know that, but you, I just signed you up for that. Um, there's a ton of stuff out there on, Callow- on CallawayGolf.com. But that is going to wrap us up for Callaway Talks today. I want to thank my guest, Roger Cleveland. Specs, the, you've done it again. The OG of Wedges. I want to thank our producers, Trevor and Sean G. And we'll see you next time on Callaway Talks.